hey guys welcome back to the channel so i'm feeling a lot better i know i was super congested i'm so sorry i just really wanted to do my makeup and film for you guys and for myself i'm just not a person that stays still so i just wanted to film and try to get back in the routine of things but today i wanted to kind of change up my look i really really want to master doing a cut crease on my eye shape this is real smoky and sexy okay i was going for something that kind of closes my eyes i didn't want anything like too wide because i want like a sexy you know snatch and i think that's what i achieved in this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel okay and let's go ahead and get into this video Hey guys, welcome back. So you know the drill, we're gonna go ahead and prime the eyes using the one and only P. Louise base in Rumor 2. And we are just going to buff that out. So I'm actually taking this brown cosmic paint and I'm going to use this to map out the shape of the eye. Um, I'm not doing anything too precise, just following the um, crease of my eye and then bringing it in like I said this is just going to help me map out the shape and I sound a whole lot better guys I'm feeling so much better um, but yeah here I'm just winging that um, shape out and kind of just diffusing the edges a little bit and here I am diffusing it a little bit more, trying to perfect the shape. Now I'm taking this Juvia's Place coffee shop and we're going to go into this beautiful dark brown. And we're basically going to set that cosmic paint. Um, so you just want to pack on the color and just, you know, wing it out and then slowly, you know, kind of diffuse the edges a little bit and here I am blending so now to deepen up the crease I'm taking this super super dark almost black shade and I'm just going to put that into the like actual crease like in the socket and you just want to pack and blend pack and blend so here I am just packing and then slowly like diffusing the edges and then here I'm starting to wing out that shape and this is what she's giving it's very smoky and I'm just going back and forth with that black and dark brown to just diffuse everything and I'm really packing on the color now to blend out the edges i'm taking those two shades and we are going to start diffusing this dark brown just so that we can have a seamless blend and you really just want to take your time and blend 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 and as you can see it is having a beautiful fade and this is what she's giving real cute but we're going to go ahead and cut the crease off camera so i'm back and the crease is cut and i'm gonna go into this beautiful um cream color it's very light and we are just going to start packing that onto the lid into the shape that we want you want to be very precise and make sure that this doesn't transfer into the crease so i'm just following that shape getting as close to that um where i cut the crease as possible and just pack on the pigment okay and then i'm actually setting the outside as well the outer corner because i just wanted that diffused you know look and now i'm taking um this one size point made eyeliner pen and i love this stuff and we are going to do a cute little wing okay 
I didn't want to do anything that was going to overpower the eye because as you can see, I did not maximize my lid space. Um, I definitely could have cut the crease higher, but I was going for a more sultry kind of almond shaped eye. And um, so that's why we don't have too much eye space working with, but it's snatched. So now I'm going to color correct. I'm going to color correct around my mouth and underneath these horrendous bags, okay? So now we're just blending that out and this color corrector blends out so easily. It is a more liquidy formula, so you only need a little bit. Now I'm just going to mix these two foundations. I'm still trying to get a feel on this Juvia's Place foundation. Um, I like when I, you know, apply it. I like how it initially wears um, in the beginning, but because it is a radiance foundation, you know, it's really not meant for my oily skin but I'm just trying to use it with different foundations to really see how I feel about that foundation. So now I'm taking this Morphe concealer. This is a hydrating concealer. Um, I do have fine lines underneath my eyes and I find that using a hydrating formula seems to work the best for my skin. So I'm just going to conceal and then I'm letting that dry down for a little bit. So I'm taking this cream contour from Fenty Beauty and you really have to build up the color with this, but it gives you the softest sculpt. But if you want something more defined, you do have to kind of really dig in but it is such a nice formula and it's very natural. So here we are just starting to blend out all that concealer. I do like to put a little bit of concealer um, above my lip just so that, you know, there's balance to the skin and it doesn't look really dark around my mouth area. So here I'm just really blending the concealer and she is looking really, really flawless. And so now I'm just doing the same thing. I like to start on the edges and the outer V and work my way inward. And then I take the butt of the beauty blender and then just go all over the face. So now I'm going to use some cream blush from LYS Beauty. This is in the shade Confident and it's that burnt like reddish pink like it's so beautiful and now i wanted that extra pop y'all know i can't resist so i'm taking this jacqueline cosmetics concealer in medium golden and i'm just popping that on the inner tear duct area and i'm blending everything out right away because i don't want it to set and like leave any um line of demarcation so i'm just immediately blending it and now i am going to set it with a pressed powder this is the ColourPop pretty fresh face powder and this is in the shade light eight okay this is an extremely light powder guys but when i set it first it doesn't look too bad so i'm just taking my brush and really just blending it and it's very smooth i also use this to set all the other areas that i put my concealer so now we are going to set the rest of the face using this makeup forever foundation powder and you guys i'm so in love with this foundation powder it is the perfect match for me and it also keeps my skin matte okay i literally don't need any setting spray with this foundation powder so now it's time to bronze and i'm taking the morphe phenom bronzer and this is a very i would like to say like neutral bronzer it's not too warm but it definitely warms up the skin you know how i want it to um so here we are just going to bronze up the skin 
And now it's time to bake. And I'm taking this very yellow uh, powder from Huda Beauty. And she's very yellow. I've never really used a powder this yellow. So I'm still trying to get the feel of it to see what the hype is, okay? Everyone used to use this super yellow powder and it's some people's holy grail. So I'm just giving it a try. And so far, I do like how it brings that yellow back into the skin so I don't look washed out. And so now I'm taking that same Morphe bronzer and I'm running it up against the lash line. Now it's time to add blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush and I've never used this blush ever. And so I'm just applying it to the skin and it is a nice, beautiful, light flush of color. It does have a little shimmer in it. Um, so just to let you know. So now I'm just refreshing the skin because we don't want anything powdery on the skin. And so now it's time to highlight my favorite time. Okay, this is my favorite part of my routine and look at that. This is the LYS Beauty Highlighter in Brave. And I'm just taking that on the nose, the brow bone, like come on, okay? And then we are going to go ahead and do the tops of the cheeks. So actually, we're going to do a little inner corner, okay? Just to kind of open the eyes a little bit first. Now we are doing the cheeks. And so I started off really lightly because it's very pigmented. And then on the other side, I kind of got a little heavy handed and you see the glow, okay? You see this glow. So I'm just blending, blending, blending. And now it's on to lips i'm taking this morphe lip liner and really just overlining the tops of my lips for that pouty effect and then i'm going to connect it to the outer corners and start connecting the bottom lip line so now i'm taking the artist couture lipstick this is in forever muse and it's super silky and then just to lighten her up a little bit i'm taking modern nude into the center and once that's all blended i go back with my lip liner just to define the lips and then we are actually taking a gloss. I know I'm usually not a gloss girl, but we are just tapping this Juvia's Place gloss on the center of the lips. And you just want to pack on the lip gloss until you have enough to give that glistening effect. And this is what we are giving today. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.